Thank you very much. It's great to be here tonight. You're pathetic. <laughs> You're all pathetic. Sorry, that's just how the uh, mall cares say hello. <laughs> Parce que c'est bien moi, Thomas Mulcair. Je suis toujours là. <laughs> Fidèle au poste, prêt à servir. Je réponds à l'appel, encore et encore, toujours debout, contre vents et marées, je ne quitte pas, je demeure en place. Le chef, c'est moi. C'est moi, le chef. Now, it's great to be here at the Press Gallery dinner, and you know why? Because unlike every other person here tonight, I give zero <laughs> Don't believe me? I know Nick's here. Any other pollsters here tonight? <laughs> Go <f> yourselves. <laughs> see? <laughs> Great to see all the important parliamentary correspondents join us tonight. Rosie Barton, congrats, becoming the permanent host of PNP. Although I can't believe they almost went with Gian. Will the CBC ever learn? <laughs> Great to see Don Martin. Hey, Don. What's it like being in a room with more people than watch your show? <laughs> Just kidding. I love Don. And, like me, he's got the perfect build for radio. <laughs> now, speaking of radio, Evan Solomon is here tonight. Congrats on having a show against Evan. Hey, in only a few years, you may be back hosting Power and Politics, or, as it was called when you were there, Evan Solomon interviewing people that bore him <laughs> while trying to figure out his next move against Amanda Lang to replace Mansbridge. <laughs> Evan, uh, speaking of that, uh, I haven't heard back from you about that Group of Seven original that we agreed to. Um, I'll see you about that after the, the dinner. Emmanuel Latraverse est ici ce soir et elle vient tout juste de se faire doubler à sa droite par nul autre que Joyce Napier. Joyce Napier fait maintenant équipe avec Glenn McGregor. Now, that's really the odd couple. Il y a aussi les trois écrivaines uh, du journal Secret, Le Devoir. Uh, Richard Madden is here tonight. I hear you're leaving Ottawa, Richard, to go to Washington. Now, that could pose a serious problem. Because if Donald Trump wins, how in heaven's name is there going to be enough room in Washington for both of your egos? <laughs> I wasn't kidding about the zero. <laughs> now, I don't see Peter Mansbridge here tonight. I guess there must be another liberal wedding today or something. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He prefers Reverend Mansbridge on these days. Now, let me take a minute to say a few words about a few great journalists who are on their way out. Of course, with a Liberal government in place, their work is pretty much done here. Um, but many of you have already found jobs within the Liberal government as well. Tim Harper is leaving us, and I've got to say that that is one Harper I am sorry to see go. <laughs> Bob Fife, Bob Fife, amazing journalist, also moving along. No? just going to the Globe and Mail. Okay, Bob Fife's going to retire at the Globe and Mail. Um, that's something that, that Mr. Trudeau and I agree on. That is where Jeffrey Simpson has been retired for the past 20 years. <laughs> now, a lot of new media here tonight, like that hard-hitting investigative news organization, BuzzFeed. <laughs> Yeah, so let's look at some of the titles. Okay, 20 more Canadian politicians who are basically Pokemon. 
Pokemon, lol. <laughs> and Vice News, another in new media which has dared to think differently while rejecting bias at every turn and keeping true to objectivity. Ah, uh, yeah, sometimes they get it right. Um, so, <laughs> some, some great politicians are here tonight as well. Peter Van Loan is here. Hey, who here knew, and this is absolutely true, that Peter Van Loan used to date Kelly Leach in university? This is actually a true fact. T talk about barbaric cultural practices. <laughs> But I, I really do want to take a moment to sincerely congratulate the Liberals on their huge election victory last October. In all seriousness, congratulations to the Prime Minister and congratulations to his core team. We just saw some of them up here before. Uh, Katie Telford, Jerry Butts, Althea Raj. Congratulations to you all. But can we just do a reality check on one thing? Because I, I found that a bit cheap of the Prime Minister before. Um, Everyone's so impressed that Justin Trudeau is hitting 50% approval ratings in all of these polls. What's the big deal? I just polled 1,800 people in Edmonton and got 48%. That's barely a 2% difference. What are you talking? It's more damn liberal media bias. That's what it is. Hey, you know to shows. Pendant toute la campagne, on entendait partout que Justin Trudeau était si beau, qu'il avait le corps d'un dieu. <laughs> Catherine m'a rassuré en me disant, « Chérie, toi aussi, t'as le corps d'un dieu. Bouddha est un dieu, après tout. » Et ça me va tellement bien parce que je suis vraiment zen, comme vous le savez. Vous savez aussi que j'ai vertement critiqué le Sénat, cette institution désuète, antidémocratique, corrompue. Mais je dois quand même admettre que les nouveaux sénateurs sont incontestablement indépendants. C'est vrai. Pensez-y une seconde. Prenons un seul exemple. André Pratt, à tout hasard. Il n'y a aucun doute dans mon esprit Andre Pratt n'est pas plus libéral aujourd'hui comme sénateur qu'il n'a jamais. So everyone, let's talk about me. What the hell am I going to do after all this? I mean, I could join the Greens, but I can't keep up with Liz at the bar. Uh, je, je sais, je sais de réfléchir à mon avenir. J'ai appelé Jean Charest. J'ai même offert de donner un coup de main avec sa course au leadership chez, chez les conservateurs, mais il ne retourne pas mes appels. Peut-être je pourrais me présenter comme chef du Parti québécois. Je pourrais amener Boulris avec moi, par exemple. Je pourrais devenir animateur. Je veux dire, si Eric Duhem peut être animateur à la radio, n'importe qui peut faire ça. Maybe I could do voiceovers for commercials. Oh, that reminds me. You've all, of course, heard that Reverend Mansbridge did a voice part in an animated movie called Zootopia. I'm proud to say I got a small role in another animated flick. <laughs> but you know what? After all that's happened, I've got to say that there is something of a silver lining in that gigantic orange. <laughs> For ex for example, no one reports on me when I run stop signs anymore. I miss that. And let me also take a second to thank someone, and I, and I do think it's appropriate after so long, but I want to thank someone on behalf of all Canadians, someone who has served with distinction, no Bob Ray gestures. We will never again see a conservative leader with such strength, forthrightness, and conviction truly Thank you to Rana Ambrose. <laughs> you guys are absolutely screwed without her. <laughs> I had a lot more here, but I uh, was just informed by Edmonton that I have to go.
So on that note, Mulcair out.